Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Someone else is dueling up there, so I decided to sit on the sidelines to show you my deck here while we wait to uh, use the challenge machine. So here we go, 1 for 20 deck. I think you know where this is going here. 1 energy for 20 damage. Voltorb, Speedball, Sanshu, Swift. Uh, you can also use Poison Sting if the opponent is double damage, so you can potentially get more off of that then. Uh, Swift doesn't even affect... Uh, not affected by weakness, resistance, uh-huh. Uh-huh, pretty nice, pretty nice. Hitmonchan, I got this version for the Mach Punch. If I can't hit the active Pokémon, I'll hit the bench Pokémon, possibly. Um, you're probably wondering, why did I make these particular choices? I mean, I got, I got two fighting, got one lightning, why not go for, say, the colorless Rattata to ensure that there isn't any sort of resistances? Namely because, well, the Rattata has got low HP, and I want to hit stuff for double damage if I can help it. The Sanshu sort of takes place of the other mouse, with the Swift, where you can do basically 20 to anything. So there's that factor there. So in place of uh, the Rattata, I would put the Sanshu, and uh, you might be wondering, why am I doing Voltorb when it could be double damage weak to fighting, you know, how they always have 20 damage fighters on the first turn or something like that? Namely for type coverage, because I can hit flying critters, water critters with that, on top of the, the critters that I can hit with fighting. So, well, this fighting, this, this is mainly just for the Swift, which is going to do 20 to anything. So, yeah, I, I, I could go over all the probabilities of everything all day and all night, but long story short, the critters that I picked here will more than likely win us most games. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, I also have things weighed more towards the fighting side of the energy spectrum, because, you know... You know, just get more fighting Pokemon. And these are all the Pokemon, just it's <laughs> just 12 basic Pokemon. And while they all seem to have very low HP, wait till you see when you get into the trainer cards. We have energy removal, super energy removal of course, because they're low energy costs. I can afford to discard a few to wipe out the opponent's energy cards. Professor Oak and Challenge for the draw power. Gust of Wind to throw the opponent off in general, along with Defender and Plus Power. Uh-huh. Everything is maxed to the max. <laughs> so let's just see how this turns out. And oh, oh, they're done dueling. Okay, good, good, good. I wonder who that was, anyway. Hey, anyway, let's play that challenge machine and see if we can get that coin. Kevin is up first. He's got Psychics, so we probably shouldn't leave with the Hitmon Chans. Probably not. Uh, another thing about Hitmonchan is that, you know, the, the Psychic Pokémon, they typically do not do 20 damage with one energy card, so they wouldn't be able to wipe it out in one turn in general. And so, so since they're hitting for 10 with the Psychic, it'll typically be taking 20 damage on the first turn, if that should happen. Well, I don't really have the option for dealios right now, but anyway, <laughs> gotta use the Voltorb. And the other thing uh, with the Sanshu is that unlike the Rattata, where it would take double damage to fighting and you'll know, be knocked out there, double damage to grass with that would end up being a, a less of a factor as well, because there's no grass Pokemon that does 20 damage with one energy card, so there's another factor there. The only thing that really is super vulnerable to that is Voltor, but so would Rattata be, and the chances of me only having a single Voltor, and them having something fighting that does 20 damage in any given game is very slim. <laughs> it's mostly gonna be a like a deck breaking situation, probabilities sort of thing. So it's it's basically not even worth considering, because any deck can brick, just as any deck can have the absolute worst opening outcome in, that you can possibly think of, so yeah, I'm not really going to even bother considering that, and we are just going to beat down everything we see with 20 or more damage. 
Well, 20 for one energy and possibly more with the powers of uh, the power of plus. <laughs> um, we're gonna go probably energy removal that Abra is for the sake of the future. And yeah, I think we're pretty good for now. I don't even feel the need to Professor Oak because I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go for the oh nice plus power. I'm gonna try and go for the win on uh, next turn. If I can, assuming I'm not uh, paralyzed, which I am, but yeah, that's another thing that this deck can do is that it can really wipe out basic Pokemon the opponent has very, very quickly as a result of. Yeah! I'm gonna put this on Sandshoot. Now, that may seem like an overabundance of energy, but when you consider super energy removal, yeah, this just, just might come in handy when you kind of overfill Pokemon with energy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, I think I'll hold off on that, because I'll be able to finish off Abra on the next turn. Right, if I just don't discard my plus powers, the next Pokémon that I put in will be able to wipe it out no matter what, because it's gonna knock out my Voltorb, I'm gonna knock out the Abra then, we're gonna have a good time grabbing that prize card, you take that for free, I'll put that Sandshrew out with its Swift, plus power, plus power, attack, Swift, we got 40 damage. It's not technically 40 for 2, though. I mean, 40 for 1, though, excuse me, because, you know, you got the, the plus powers to add on to it, so it's more like 40 for 3 in a way. But those sorts of surprises allow me to take prize cards as well, which allow me to bolster things as well, and yeah, Jacob. Water time. Salt water shower, I believe. So we're gonna lead with the Voltorb if we can. Uh, oh, ooh, that Electrode. Mm, that's right, he's got the lightnings. Mmm. Mmm. Might be a 50 50 de decision here. Uh, actually, wait. No, maybe not 50 50. I'm gonna go Sandshrew. Hitmonchan on the side, because the Sandshrew will be resistant to the lightning should he decide to put one of those critters out. Eh, uh, Staryu. Never mind! <laughs> this is gonna be slapping. And that's where the Defender can come and play to keep my Pokemon going a little bit longer there, but I don't really have it right now, but I also have Hitmonchan on the sidelines, so I think I'm just gonna go for the Swift, and uh, don't worry about Sandshrew too much, because it already took some damage anyway. So if, if he wants to knock out the Staryu, that'll- Oh, he doesn't have another basic? Ooh, yeah, this is two games in a row. <laughs> so that means I I win regardless, because of the Mach Punch. Yeah, if, if, I, if I wouldn't have been able to uh, Wipe him out this turn, I would use Professor Oak to draw out some more basic Pokemon, but nope, we're good. <laughs> Cody, more water. So, lead with lightning, I guess, if I can, as I said. That, hence the idea of the multi type coverage dealio that I was explaining for like 20 minutes. But <laughs> it's a Voltorb. Voltorb. I didn't really have much of a choice there, but. I would have led with Voltorb anyway, I just wanted to see my full hand before I got into things. Oh, that Poliwag though, that's got the grass weakness. It's not lightning weakness, it's tricky tricky there. <laughs> oh, plus power. Trying to do extra damage to wipe out the Voltorb as quickly as he can, but... Uh, not very helpful, unless he's got another one next turn, but I'm gonna be speedballing here. Basically, if you can attack, definitely attack with this deck, because everything's got low HP, so things aren't designed to last too long unless you've got a lot of defenders on hand. In this case, I kind of don't, so I'm just going to kind of charge through. Oh, hello, plus power. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on the Voltorb and speedball. That Poliwag off the map. Let's see what we get. Hitmonchan, very nice. And, uh, yeah, oh, whoop, whoop, uh, <laughs> got another poly, I was gonna say, but yeah, he's got the War Total Lump. Uh, that's something I was gonna explain as it comes up, is that Evolution Pokémon could be kind of an issue to this deck, because they have a lot more HP. That's primarily it, because the higher HP as a result of that has has difficulties getting through, you know, because I'm, I'm only doing 20 to, say, 40 damage max, if I'm even doing 40, because I'm not really always gonna have that many plus powers. I'm just saying that I could maybe do 40 
uh, since I have four copies of plus powers in there and you know probabilities and stuff like that and everything like that so it's it's a, it's a thing out that if they have a lot of HP it's gonna take me a bit to get through it not so much if they have say a uh, Chansey or something like that. Sure, it's got a lot of HP, but then I use Hitmonchan and do 40 damage per shot and maybe add some plus powers to the mix. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, Hitmonchan is up next. You are getting energy removed. And I'm going to plop that defender on there. I'm going to put that on Hitmonchan in case I get energy removal. Ideally, also, um, I'd like another Voltorb so I can just zappy zap that. Yeah, but eh, I don't have it right now. That's okay. I used up my Voltorbs early on, but I will energy removal that off the map and shell him because I could still get a Voltorb. Sand Shrew. Put that in play. I'll hold on to that. And Mach Punch. I could do damage to a Bench Critter, but not this time. That's okay with me as we're in decent shape. Sure, he's got two knockouts on his hand, but you know, it's. I'm, I think I've got the probabilities in my favor. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. No paralysis that time. No damage due to the defender as well, so I'll be outpacing him in damage in general. Uh, oh, that's right. I can't. Well, I could still put it on something in case of uh, energy removal. Although, maybe I want to keep attacking with the Hitmonchan by just Professor Oaking into something. Um. How about I gust of wind that Magikarp out? Because I could potentially hit the bench Pokemon as well. And then we go Professor Oak. Because remember, I can hit that one that's at 10 HP. So yeah, there's my fighting. I wonder if I should energy remove all that. <laughs> that uh, War Turtle, just in case. I'm thinking I should, since I had that set up. And Mach Punch, come on heads. Oh, I was hoping I could wipe out the bench Pokemon along with it, but I could potentially do so next turn anyway. And um, we'll eventually probably get that with a Mach Punch. And Professor Oak, let's see what deadly cards he gets. Ooh. That's not so much deadly in on itself as it is something that it could pull out of the deck. And plus power for maximum floppages. <laughs> Hitmonchan takes 20 in his challenge. Pretty nice to see. Probably get some sort of fighting. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I might as well put that in play. I definitely want a Professor Oak to get another uh, fighting energy on that. Uh, but do I want to put the Sanshu in play? Probably. Uh, energy removal, the War Turtle for the future. Uh, Shyam. Nah, I don't think I should super energy her. Because chances are I'm gonna get a energy card with Professor Oak that matches my Hitmonchan. Just chances are. If I don't, I'd be very surprised. Thank you. <laughs> See right at the top of the list. Um energy removal for the future. Guess I'll see what I get with challenge. Fighting lightning, okay. And heads please. Thank you. That's a knockout for Polywag as well then. So, two knockouts for the price of one attack. So, that's technically a one for three, if you think about it. I'm gonna grab that. That's, oh, that's what the speedball Voltors were. <laughs> I might want to put one of those in place somewhere around here again, because of the water critters. But, for now, I'm just gonna hold off, and no flopping is gonna happen. Um, yeah, I might as well challenge that. <laughs> Even though it's gonna be like, build. Uh... Yeah, I guess I should remove that as well. With all the draw powers, you can see... Well, I should say draw power and deck room. I was able to put a ton of energy removal. Max out everything here. Uh... Oops, no, no. Defender... Uh... No, the other Hitmonchan, I suppose. Might be able to do a little bit more damage. Yeah, I think I'll do that War Turtle. I thought maybe the, uh... Magikarp, but, you know, if I have plus power in the future and that Magikarp is toast, it's more about the... Uh, oh, man! <laughs> to say it's more about the uh, extra damage to the uh, actual threats, per se, I guess you could say. Now, this is kind of an issue. It's resistant to fighting, so I'm going to have to do a retreat. Probably... Oh, actually, yeah, probably into the Sandshrew. I'm going to put that on there. 
And oh wait, actually, well, I don't have to. Gust of wind is a factor. Uh oh, and I did have plus power in hand. I'm an idiot. So we should just magic harp. Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? Plus power. Attack with mock punch, and we win. So doesn't really matter who I hit with that, but <laughs> I guess it do it to the war turtle. If I were to have another turn, just keep nicking away at that. And the victory once again. <laughs> See, this is all 20 damage attackers, as I mentioned before. Pretty threatening, especially when you combine it with plus power and defender. Cratherin with the lightning will probably have a little bit of issue against my sand shoes, so I'd like to lead with that if I can help it. We shall see, though. We don't just just that basic Pokemon. We'll never be able to see. <laughs> uh, Hitmonchan, no choice but to use that. That's fine because it'll still do double damage to the the lightning Pokemon anyway. So yeah, don't do all. I'll do double damage to that. Might be able to hit some bench Pokemon though. I will go into Professor Oak to get some actual critters out on the bench and everything like that anyway. So. We're just gonna get things set up here, put that on Hitmonchan, energy removal that of course, and Professor Oak as promised. Sure, I'm discarding four energy cards, but things don't use very much energy in this deck. I just mainly have this much energy for the probabilities of getting energy and stuff like that, so... Alright, so... I guess I'll put them all in play. And we're gonna Mach Punch because I can still potentially do damage to a bench critter does not apply weakness and resistance to the benches, so I can still dish out damage that way. So I guess it's 1 for 10 if you think about it, but... <laughs> I wonder if I should just let her knock out the Hitmonchan, and then I power up the Voltorb and just demolish her. <laughs> Possibly, maybe, that's kind of tempting. Uh, I mean, not, not the Voltorb, I mean the Sandshrew. Uh, yeah. I think I'll do that, sure, sure. And, uh, yeah, because I don't have the Voltorb just yet, but I, I was thinking I, I should! I, sh I mean, I prefer to have a Voltorb because of the double damage to do Duo, but... Eh, not right now. Oh, another thing about this deck is that generally the Pokémon have a very cheap retreat cost, except Hitmonchan here, which is a 2, Sanshu is a 1, and Voltorb is a 1, so... Not burning very much energy card, uh, very many energy cards in that regard either. Now, I'm not gonna do damage to Doe Duo, but I could hit the Bench Critter. Uh, I think that would be a wise investment of my energy card there, especially since I can potentially retreat with Hitmonchan on the next turn. I don't know if I will be able to, because you could just get two heads, but we're at six prize cards anyway, so I might as well just go for that risk, I suppose. I didn't think you'd get two heads. I mean, sure, it's possible, knowing the computer and their head-flipping madness, but not today. <laughs> Sanshiro time. Yeah, I'm all kind of stuck there. Um, I wonder if I should leave with Poison Sting, because Swift is going to take three to knock it out anyway. I'm going to try that. Ah, uh, oh well. All right, so Swift from there on out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought maybe, just just for the heck of it, I might be able to get a little bit of poison onto it and speed things along the two turns, but nah, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and I could use some draw power, that would be pretty nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is my challenge. Going to Professor Oak would be pretty nice. Oh, Voltar, there we go. As a matter of fact, should probably get set up for a switch to knock out the Dodu a little bit quicker then. And yeah, the poison didn't quite work out, but I didn't know if I would get Voltorb, so... Eh! <laughs> not that big of a deal. And yeah, because if you're not using the Swift, it's not gonna have the special weakness and resistance nulling properties on the poison thing, so... Uh, put that on there. Surprise retreat into oops into Voltor speedball should not mash through the buttons that quickly and oh yeah versus Catherine lightning Pokemon do ten more damage I forgot about that how could I have forgotten about that <laughs> anyway lightning flash do a little extra damage to knock out the Voltor. yeah yeah so I could have actually just switched over to Voltorb instead of going for the Swift first. Uh, Hitmonchan's next with the double damage. 
Uh, should I even bot? I don't know if I should bother with the super energy removal on anything. We're, we're in decent shape here. Then damage, thank you. We're gonna do that on the Dole Duel because of their fighting resistances. And next turn, the Jolteon will probably be knocked out unless she switches it. And she just may. No, she did. Because <laughs> the other yeah, resistances and all like that, but up oh, potion. Uh, I might still want to go over and use Mach Punch anyway, because I could still do damage to that for the future. So, yeah. Well, wait, wait. Actually, hold on a sec. Third Jolteon is... Yeah, it's pretty vulnerable to... Just in general, because... Double damage fighting attacks? Yeah. I got a bunch of Hitmonchan in general. So... Anyway, Voltorb's going in play for sure. For the future. Obviously, I don't have the lightning energy, but... For now, I shall. Uh... Sanshu for said... Weakness resistance nulling. And I guess... Uh... Hmm, the Eevee. Because the Eevee is, uh... I'm sure it takes double damage from fighting as well, but... The Eevee is, uh, it's at full health, and I might just be able to, if need be, uh, speedball Voltorb it plus a plus power. So it's just kind of like a future planning dealio thing. And 10 damage. Um... Yeah, I don't really feel I need to do anything with that. The super energy removal right now. No bench damage, that's fine, that's fine. We have a long game to go. Many more draws to come. We're just kind of nicking away at each other for the most part here, actually. If you think about it. I and mean, yeah, she got the Dark Jolteon when I got something else. <laughs> so, just, just a little damage at a time here. Voltorb. And bench attack. Yes. And, oh wait. I'm just thinking about that. If I want to put them all in plus power range or get them into get Eevee into 20 range, probably get them all to plus power range. And yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm not hitting the Do Duo right now, because we're just kind of just kind of stalling for the most part here. And then we shall see how things turn out after this sequence of events uh, just unfolds at that <laughs> after one of us knocks out something, Professor Oak. Ah, nice to see you. So, Defender is going on there. Uh, not gonna play Professor Oak just yet, because it's just, again, for the future. I definitely want to keep my Volt Orb in case of more Do Duos, but, eh, I should say more flying Pokémon in general, because, man. Yeah. Uh, right, well, we're pretty good for now, anyway. Come on, Mach Punch! Oh. <laughs> so, we're doing zeros here. <laughs> zero after zero after zero. <laughs> That's fine though. I could switch into the Voltorb just by using Professor Oak and getting a lightning energy eventually, you know. But eh, I don't know. Energy removal, Dark Jolteon, and now we're gonna use Super Energy Removal because she has been powering that bad boy up. <laughs> and should I discard the other Voltorb? I I mean, I do have Sand True for the, but I won't be. Yeah, I won't get double damage with it. But I kind of want to do stuff now. You know what I mean? So put that. On. Oh, that's right. I have the. Uh, well, actually, I could just put it on there. Retreat, Volt Orb. And I just want challenge you. I could potentially get some more energy removal. Plus powers are nice to see. Yeah, I think I got this pretty much wrapped up then. Because everything is in plus power territory <laughs> due to my setups with Hitmonchan, as I was mentioning. Like, see that Voltorb? Yeah, normally it would be taken out in two turns, like my Voltorb would be, but it's gonna be taken out on the next turn instead. <laughs> oh, actually, no, I don't have to, because, yeah, but, um, the extra 10 damage. I keep forgetting about that <laughs> with the uh, Lightning Pokemon, so we're still good with that. Uh. Probably should super energy removal that their Jolteon again for the future. Put that back on Sanshu. Yeah, I'll just speedball. 
She can knock out my Voltorb if she wants to, I guess. It's not that big of a deal since I'm just going to retaliate versus whatever she has with a fighting Pokémon, so... You do your thing, I will do my thing. <laughs> so she's got her 1 for 20s thanks to the extra 10 damage. But I have... I have... Actually, I'll put on Sanshu. I'm gonna think of it. Uh, even though it does 20 damage max, I'll do plus power, because I got the lightning resistance as well. Ah, 200 IQ! And <laughs> put this other Voltorb in play, and then we Swift. So now, as a result of that, she probably won't be able to do damage to my Sanshu, regardless of what she's got out there, so... Yeah! <laughs> Best of luck there. I mean, yeah, you can... Oh, you put it on the other Dark Jolteon to Defender. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Poison then. Mm, let's see what I should power up. Probably the Voltorb? I'm gonna run out of HP eventually with my switching tactics, but probably not before she does. Um... Yeah, I don't really think there's much of a threat using Defender or anything like that, so come on, heads! Yeah! Defender doesn't help against status effects. And so now the talk, the clock is kind of ticking on her to switch that Dark Jolteon, otherwise I'm going to take another prize card with ease. You can energy removal at all you like, it's not going to make much of a difference, because I got the other fighting. All these Pokémon are powered up very easily. And uh, yeah, Swift. So, she decided not to switch in expectations I didn't have energy. That was her downfall. That uh, Dark Raichu could potentially cause a whole lot of damage, because, you know, if it's multi-attack dealio, I'll, I'll, sh I'll give you a re-showing re of that critter really quick, but it, she's not gonna, probably not going to be able to power it up by the time I'll be able to keep wiping out his energy, so... Uh, so oh, no, 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 be up. <laughs> Surprise Thunder. 0, 10, or 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokémon. So that could do a bunch of damage to the weak Pokémon, yeah, that I have already in play, but I don't really see her getting three energy cards based on my deck strategy. I got energy removal here, so... Uh, I think I might actually hold on to that, just in case of... Uh, she does go for the Dark Raichu power-up, or maybe she's gonna try and switch Dark Raichu. Uh, actually, it's just one, one anyway. But I should challenge. <laughs> Regardless of what she's doing, so... Uh... Probably... But wait, what, what's, what am I doing here? I should pro... Oh no, I kinda have to... Uh... Yeah, I can't really put that in anything. I mean, I could, but... I don't have a super energy removal to work with that. Eh, you know what, that's just Poison Sting. We're gonna... Uh, nice. We're going to, uh... Aggro our way to victory in... At least, hopefully, anyway. So... <laughs> In theory, we shouldn't have to think about things too much in those regards, as we're just aiming to do damage turn after turn. Got another Dark Raichu there, but I might just end up switching to Hitmonchan to uh, double damage the Dark Raichus. Uh, yeah, is that, is that plus power range now? And I think I have one in hand, yeah. So, any sort of Hitmonchan will do. So I'm going to do a retreat into Hitmonchan. I don't have the fighting energy, but I will after a Professor Oak, so I'm going to plus power that on Hitmonchan. Might as well just dump out everything that I have in my hand, just just in general. Put Defender on there, put Defender on, uh... I guess that's the same thing. Uh, you know what? Screw it, just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fighting energy and win the game. It'll put me down to one card, but it doesn't matter as long as I get a fighting energy. Double damage mock punch, doesn't even matter if I get head flip on that, because I'm doing 50 damage to the Dark Raichu for the last prize card. That is what we call math. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a super energy removal. That was kind of an oddly long game, especially since the double damage to things, but I think it's because mainly we just both setting up things. Alright, what you got? Hopefully not the fighting deck. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, he's got the fighting! Oh wait, no, no, that, that was me, never mind. <laughs> I just seen fighting energy and I was like, oh wait, I didn't read who was... who had the reshuffle. <laughs> Woo! Okay, because I was, I was gonna say, I hope he doesn't have fighting because of the double damage to my Voltorb. 
Ah, uh, Sanju's fine for the lead. I'll just Professor Oak into something else if need be. But what's he got? Kangaskhan? Oh, he's got the Grass deck. So that's actually going to cause a little bit of ire to the Sanchu in the future, potentially, but not now. Because I have the uh, uh, Kangaskhan out, which is a 3 retreat cost, so I'm going to go for the Poison Sting because double damage 20 anyway. And I might be able to get poison out of it, which I did, which will accelerate Kangaskhan's KO. Pretty nice. Now from here on out, I'll just use a switch, uh, the Swift probably. Um, because it's just, you know, it's guaranteed 20 no matter what, if he puts out Mr. Mime. <laughs> and, uh, well, that, uh, that, yeah, okay, <laughs> that, uh, kind of could happen if he puts out the Mr. Mime, so yeah. Uh, for now it's routine. He put the Mr. Mime back in the deck, that's what i seen. That's like, yeah, anyway, uh, Tanshu. Probably Voltorb. Energy removal will stop the draws. I'll uh, Professor Oak next turn, probably. And Swift. I, I could use Poison Sting as well to do the same amount of damage, but Swift is just faster because we don't have to wait through the coin flip animation. So yeah. And put the Grass Energy and the Bench Critters. Uh, ooh, um. Do I want to? Dish out damage to that Bulbasaur? Like, <laughs> like just really quick with the Sand Shoe, because, you know, I want to get rid of his Grass Pokemon if I can. Um... Just might do that. But first, I'm gonna Super Energy Removal the Bulbasaur. Nah, you know what? No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait on that and just Swift. Because the, uh... The Bulbasaur may do be able to do 20 damage to Sandshrew uh, after he puts him out, but that's still not enough to knock out the Sandshrew, and then I might just be able to wipe it out with uh, double plus power anyway after I Professor Oak, so let's put one plus power. And Professor Oak, I'm not going to gust the wind because I really want to take out that grass Pokemon if I can help it. So plus power number two, there we go, and there's number three as well, wow. That's pretty dang useful, I would say. And Swift for the knockout. If I can knock out that Dratini, that will be game over. Uh, ah, I was gonna say, before he gets any more bench Pokemon, but he got another one. Alas. Alas. <laughs> um, I think I want to switch to Hitmonchan to try and do more damage. So I shall, because I, I want to get the other one into plus power range. Ah, oh, well, if I can. Obviously, I didn't do there, but I might be able to do it next turn. So if I get that in plus power range, and when I knock out this Dratini, it'll be game over if he doesn't have another bench Pokemon. Uh, Saint True, Mach Punch. Nope, still the coin flips betray me once again. <laughs> I do have another... Oh, I got both plus powers that I have remaining in the deck. So if he doesn't have a basic Pokemon, it's definitely game over. And that is game over. Plus power number three. Plus power number four. Just for fun, Mach Punch. And the victory is mine. Now give me that coin. I did so many duels to get that coin and to show you so many decks. I deserve it. <laughs> so... Well, we shall get a little message from uh, the lady by here, I do believe. Yep, congratulations, you've reached 50 consecutive wins. For your achievement, you've earned a commemorative coin. This is a very special coin, so please use it often. Yay, Gungo coin! Spooky! Although it's kind of late for Halloween. <laughs> or technically, could it be early for Halloween, if you think about it? Ah! <laughs> Congratulations on your 50 wins! Now keep going and see how many total consecutive wins you can get. I'm not so sure I want to do that, but... <laughs> For now, I want to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I collect some more cards.